Well, it's not so much spotted as it is tiled. Uh, that is a giraffe. If you were unclear as to what it was, uh, it is a giraffe. And we know that because it's got a long neck, you see, and uh, long legs and a tail. That is a very effective fly swatter. There we are. Marvellous. I'm obviously being slightly facetious. It's obviously a giraffe. And this bull's been hanging around here for the last little while. Uh, it's very, um, very sort of confiding and uh, without friends for some reason. I'm not sure why it should have no friends. Uh, he's got an ox pecker for friends. David, would you consider an ox pecker your friend? Absolutely. You would? Yes. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you. I would consider an ox picker a fairly poor friend, I feel. Especially if it ate out the open wounds that I had on my body. Anyway, there they are. There are the ox peckers. And they are feeding on some ticks now. Um, I think I'd prefer to be eating the ticks, yes, with the one on the right there. Certainly less chance of being hit by a missile. I often wonder whether it's a, it's, it's a good thing to be an ox pecker or not, whether it is a, a blessing to have such a ready source of food, transport, um, yeah, and it's kind of endless supply basically because the ticks never seem to stop. But at the end of the day, you are eating ticks. <laughs> He's a particularly large fellow, that. I'd put him at about... Ooh, I don't know, four and a half meters maybe. That's very tall for a giraffe. He is uh, certainly not the James Hendry of giraffes. He's uh, much more the Brent Leo Smith of giraffes. And contemplating life as they do. And I often think that they are, when they're standing looking like this, I think there's quite a lot going through their minds. Of course, their inability to s deliver Shakespearean soliloquies um, gives the impression that perhaps they're just standing there doing nothing. But I think he's observing the wilderness. He may even be having conversations with other giraffe around the place through the medium of infrasound, which is how they talk quite often, we think. And he's not a young fellow. I'd say he's pretty much in his prime. But he does still have that eye, doesn't he, David? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see if he decides to go and have some apple leaf for breakfast. An apple leaf a day, you know what they say, David. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Keeps the itches away. <laughs> He's scratching his head, clearly. Not quite as adept at bringing his back hoof round as that wildebeest was. Siberia Zumi, you've asked a question that sounds rather more like a statement than a question. You've said, um, this giraffe has a number of scratches on it. Yes, it does indeed have a number of scratches. He's a, he's a fellow, I don't think he's that old. He's probably, you know, if they have a potential lifespan of between, I don't know, say, up to 20 years in this area, I'd put him at about 14 or so. So, not ancient, but he bears a few scars associated with life out here in the wilderness. But he's also, if you look at his skinned condition, it's really pretty good. And the, uh, I mean, his skin condition, it doesn't carry that sort of pa filarial parasite. And that means that he's really not that old. They all eventually get patches where the hair has been eaten off. And that is not the case with this chap. Right, we're going to leave him to wander off into